Hello, this is a SoundDock original that has been upgraded with the Invivo uh, BC20 NFC Bluetooth 5 certified upgrade. Okay, now um, there's another video that shows the installation of this, but this video is uh, really just showing the functions and showing how to use it, just explain what <coughs> is in the package in terms of functionality rather than just hardware. So if I just explain these buttons along the top, you still obviously these buttons, the plus and minus volume buttons are exactly the same and work the same as they always did on your dock. The, uh, from left to right we're going with the skip left button, uh, that's a navigation button, actually these three are all navigation buttons and they just mimic the navigation buttons on the Bluetooth app on the phone. I find it's really inconvenient trying to find your phone, trying to unlock it and then find the application and press pause where as with this you can just reach over and hit the pause button and the dock stops playing it. the Bluetooth message goes to the phone to stop the phone playing okay so you can navigate the tracks just using these buttons or you can navigate them on the phone or with Alexa you can say Alexa 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 skip next track or you can just go skip next track you don't like the track and the Alexa will work the same. So Alexa can be navigated with these as well. We've made sure that works. <coughs> All right. So also this button here is, you can see a little bass symbol. I don't know if you can see that a bit more clearly if I go closer, but there's a little system symbol there and that's the bass booster button. And if you hold that button down for about two seconds, you'll hear the bass boost come on. And if you prefer not to listen with the bass booth, it's a matter of taste. Um, you press the button again, hold it down for two seconds, bass boost removes and you'll hear the sound change. Okay, now um, this button here is the power button. To turn the don dock on or off, you press and hold the button down for about two and a half seconds. You get a rising tone, boop, 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 the dock powers up. And if you hit the button again, you hear boop, 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 the dock powers down. The dock will power down if you don't stream any audio via the input socket or, or via Bluetooth, the dock will power down after about five minutes, okay? So it's to conserve power. Also the lights go off so that the lights aren't annoying you. The light here is a red light. It's a, a dim, not too bright. I made them Deliberately made them about the right brightness to see under the studio lights now or in a room, but they're not too, dark, uh, not too bright. The red light for power and the other one's the Bluetooth status light. Um, blinking means it's in pairing mode, it's looking for other things to pair with. And it, um, a dot dash uh, pattern means it's connected to a Bluetooth source. And solid on blue means it's streaming uh, A2DP, high quality audio over Bluetooth, right? So that's the indication, uh, status indication for the LEDs. You've got your USB uh, fast charge socket, <coughs> puts out 5 volts up to 2 amps through that socket to charge any devices. There's no data on here, it's just a charging socket to provide power to charge your phone or your iPad or whatever you want to plug in, it's a charger, right? It takes the power from the Bose power supply and then puts it out at five volts um, protected for your device. There's also a um, fast charge controller in there. Now this is the AUX input socket, that's a 3.5 millimeter stereo input jack and that's the sort of plug it takes, it's the 3.5 plug, you can see this one here. It's a standard headphone jack essentially. All right and as soon as you plug that in there the audio will start playing and if you turn the audio off the dock will go into standby uh, but if you turn the audio back on the dock will come back on so the dock won't go into fully into standby in case you've got an intermittent audio source. Now if you're playing music from here then um, Bluetooth takes priority so if you are connected and you start streaming by Bluetooth, it will take over the audio stream. So you could be listening to something plugged into here. And if you come along with your phone and your phone's connected and you press play, this will be disconnected. The audio feed from here will be disconnected and then the audio from your phone will start playing. And if you, at the point where you pause the audio on your phone, it doesn't go straight back to auxiliary input if it's plugged in. It waits about 10 to 15 seconds and then it switches back to the aux in. So it's quite handy if you want to use this as a TV speaker, but you still want to be able to play things from your phone on Bluetooth. So you've got the best of both worlds there. So I think the best bet now, from this point forward, is just to demonstrate 
the function on it. I'm going to use uh, YouTube copyright free music because otherwise I'll get a copyright strike. Right, I'm just going to demonstrate the pairing mode, uh, the pairing function. You can see in this phone, this, this Samsung phone, there are no, uh, there, the Invivo BC20 is not listed, it's not connected, it's not, vi it's not visible either. So if I just press and hold this button, the dock will power up. You heard the tones, the rising tones there say power is on. And then you can see that red indicator light. If I turn the studio lights off, you can see it easily. I can see it clearly in the studio lights. I didn't want an indicator that was too bright. I want something that was easy to see, but not, you know, garingly bright. Some of these things have incredibly bright LEDs in them. All right, so now to initiate pairing, I press this button. And you hear the low tone. Doo -doo, and now the blue light is now flashing the pairing. There it is, you can see it flashing right into pair. So we go back to the phone, and you can see in the available devices you've got the Invivo BC20 NFC. So if we hit hit that, there you go, it's paired. Connected for media audio. So if I go back to YouTube and play some copyright free music. You can see the blue light is now on, the power light is on, and we're, pair, uh, we're streaming, okay? So you can turn the volume up and down with the controls on your phone if you want to. You can also turn the volume up and down on the dock. Not very good music, I apologise for the music, but... If you play any sort of recognisable music that's got copyright, then the the YouTube thought police will get you and um, strike your video for copyright infringement. But that's beside the point. So now, um, got the thing play, and you can pause and play on here as well. So you can pause, you can play, and you can skip back and next track. But also on here, if you don't want to find your phone and um, you want to switch the music off, or you want to skip an annoying track that you don't enjoy, or you know you don't know where your phone is, or uh, someone else's phone is streaming you can't hear yourself think then you can just hit these buttons here instead and you can see that these buttons navigate on the streaming Bluetooth device as well so I can go pause play I can go next next track okay and of course I can go previous track um, this button also doubles up as a bass boost um, so if I press and hold this now, you can hear the bass increase. It's a it's a subtle um, it's a subtle effect, but some tracks have got very very deep bass boost, and it's just slightly oppressive. But if you just like a little bit more bass, a little more thump to the music, you can just turn it on. You can hear the difference there. It's quite a difference. Okay, I'll turn it off again. And that will remember that next time it powers up. Okay, so let's just pause that. So that really is, it's the great Bose sound. It sounds fantastic because it's got additional multiband dynamic range compression algorithms in the Bluetooth 5 chip. And we've matched that very closely to the dock in a, with an audio analyzer in a studio. So it sounds great. And I'm not joking. If you went down to any of the shops now and compared the sound that this gives, this is easily as good as anything on the market at the moment. It really is. Because this is a quality item that was about £300 when they came out and were made. And they are very well made. And the speakers and everything else are superb in it. It's really, really good. Hasn't really been surpassed at all. It was a great job by Bose originally. So, the only thing we haven't really covered. Um, I'll demonstrate this uh, socket in a moment. But first we'll do NFC pairing. So if I go, as I said before, you need to check that your phone supports NFC. So if I go into the phone and then select this, um, the BC20, and I just unpair, I will forget it. It's gone from my list, okay? So the dock can be on or off for this purposes. Um, you don't have to turn it on first to do an NFC pairing, so I'll just turn it off just to demonstrate the off mode. And you walk into a room, your phone is locked. Obviously Bluetooth and NFC have to be turned on. 
So you just um, unlock your phone so that you can, you don't have to be in the Bluetooth screen, so I'm, I walk into the room, I clearly the NFC is not broadcasting all the time because it would take power all the time and people would be able to scan your NFC and connect with it in your pocket and so on. So the phone does have to be unlocked to, um, to do NFC pairing. Check that your phone supports NFC pairing so you're not disappointed if you order this and you find it doesn't work. It might be because you have a handset that not all do. I think all will, most do at the moment, but some don't, okay? So check your phone. If you want to use the NFC pairing function, it will be usable in the future, but as to whether your device supports it now is another question, all right? So anyway, you go into the room and you want to use the dock, you unlock your phone, you place your phone on the NFC, you hear that beep, and then you can see up on the my home screen has come a pair request because it's, this is the first time that I unpaired it. So this is now saying, oh, you've made contact with this, the dock is waiting to pair, would you like to pair with it? All right, so you go pair. And then when it's paired, it'll limit a chirp. There you go, and it says connected with the Bluetooth. So that was an NFC pairing, the first, first pairing you have to make, all right? And if I go to YouTube, just to prove it, I can play some music. Okay. All right, so that's the, um, the initial pairing, and then the subsequent pairings, if I turn the dock off, and then look in the Bluetooth, you'll see, look in the Bluetooth, you'll see that it's not connected, all right? So again, the phone is locked, you want to use your dock. Usually, um, when you, I, we, we've arranged it, or I've arranged it, so that when you turn the dock back on, It will re that la that last beep was the regrouping. It's already reconnected automatically to the last phone that was on it. Okay, um, so as soon as you hit the power up button on the dock, it will pair to the actual last phone, and we can play some music just to prove it. All right. So again, let's uh, shut the dock down. and you walk into a room, someone else has been using the dock, it wouldn't automatically reconnect because it reconnects the last phone that was connected, mostly for people that want to use a single dock and a single phone in a bedroom or something like that. It's very convenient because you walk into the room, it's already reconnected, you hear the beep and away it goes. Um, but you do have to turn the dock on to get that. But with NFC, you just walk into the room, your phone locked, you unlock your phone, put it on the dock, it's connected and now it'll play. Okay. So I'll just pause that music. And the final thing we can do is, if we'll play ball, is we can connect an audio source from, at this in this case, a Samsung S7 with an audio lead going into the input jack. Unlock the phone. We're on uh, YouTube again, and if I press that, the dock will automatically power up, and you'll get the music coming out. And again, the volume in both cases. Okay, so there we get the the, uh, the music from New York. And just one thing, if I turn the volume down slightly on that, so you can't hear it, it's not obs. If we now go into Bluetooth, and now I press Bluetooth, the Bluetooth source will take over the dock and start playing the music, so it overrides this. Okay, so I press that. And it's now playing from this phone. If I press pause, you can see. Okay. So on the phone, if I press pause, remember we've got an audio stream still going in, there's about uh, 8 to 10 seconds of pause and then the music comes back through from here again from the auxiliary input okay so just to recap fantastic sound really really good I've tried all sorts of Bluetooth plug-in Bluetooth adapters into the 30-pin socket and you be the judge, but this blows them away for all general types of music. You get that Bose experience. 
there isn't much else to say. Um, yeah, I think that's it actually. So that's the demonstration of the features of the uh, Invivo BC20 NFC Bluetooth 5 upgrade board for the SoundDock Original Series 1. If you want to see any more videos about those and other things about your dock, then hit the subscribe button down in the right hand corner. I'd appreciate that just to make me happy. But anyway, thank you very much for watching.